Hello everyone, this is Karan Kakkad from Reverse Factor where we help people reverse lifestyle disease with the help of right food. Today I will be speaking about basic issues like constipation, gastric issues, indigestion, bloating. Although these are very common issues, you know, people have not understood that the overall impact that this has on overall health. We have also discussed many times that our gut health is very very important for overall health and 85% of our immunity lies in the gut. Our, our mood, our hormones, a lot of these things depend on our gut health. Now when we do not you know, realize or, or you know, make corrections to resolve issues like constipation, gastric, bloating, acid reflux, then long term health has a huge impact because of these things. In fact, every week we see around 18 to 20 patients of different kinds of cancers. Okay, so every week 20 different kind of you know patients come to us with different kind of cancers. And two things that we observe common in most people who come to us with can cancer issues: number one is low immunity, and number two is years of constipation issue. We cannot let disease grow in our gut. Okay, because when we do not have proper bowel movements, when we are constipated, when we have gastric acidity issues, disease is growing within us. That is something that we need to realize. Okay, the problem, you know, uh, you know, before I speak about details about each of these subject, uh, one thing which I want to highlight is, you know, when when patients come to us, there is a three to four page form that we ask them to fill up their issues and all that. And when most of them write diabetes, blood pressure, fatty liver, kidney issues, you know, and when I'm speaking to them, when I'm reviewing their form, and if I ask them, do you have uh, constipation issues? Do you have gastric issues? Most of them, most of them, you know, tell us, you know, ye to humko saalo se hi hai. you know, this is an issue which has been there since years, you know, as if they've accepted that it is a part of their system. As if they have accepted that bloating, gastric, acidity issues, constipation is a, a part of themselves now, which is something which is not okay, right? I think there needs to be a change in this mindset that we cannot, we cannot live with constipation. We cannot live with gastric acidity issues. There has to be this mindset that we need to reverse these right now. Because the more and more we keep these, you know, gastric bloating, acidity, constipation issues, the more and more disease will become active within us, right? Our system becomes acidic, you know, rather than becoming alkaline. So there is a lot of, so it, it is not as simple as it sounds, I know, as simple as people take it, you know, that, you know, we have a simple gastric issue, we have a constipation issue since years. It is really that we cannot live with this. So let's understand this right now. That these are simple issues. But we need to resolve it right now. Before, you know, before years of such simple issues can lead to something major issues. So we, we should not act as if we are ignorant. We, we should be a responsible, you know, human being. And we should be taking care of our health. So this is something that we can take care easily if we can change our lifestyle and food, right? So four or five things that I would be sharing which can really help with, you know, two people who are suffering with bloating, gastric, acid reflux, acidity, indigestion, all of those issues. So number one, there is something known as jeera water. We have uh, spoken about this earlier also. Come in seeds water. So it's the way you make tea, instead of chai patti, you just add one spoon of jeera and you boil it. Okay, you reduce it to half and then you strain it and have that jeera water. If you have a lot of gastric acidity issues, you can add maybe half spoon a join or maybe one spoon of soft to it. Jeera water is an excellent alkaline drink. Jeera water really helps clean the entire system. It helps a lot in acid reflux, acidity, gastric issues. Uh, it, it is a wonder drink to start your day with. Add half spoon of a join, you make your Jeera water more powerful. So Jeera water is an excellent drink to start with. And uh, it really helps a lot in clean, cleaning the system. It is more like a herbal drink, more of a detox water. Apart from gastric acidity, it also is it is also very good for losing weight and extra fat. So jeera water is a must-do for people who have gut issues, 
or who have acidity, acid reflux, gastric issues. Second thing then you can add is something known as Pantabhat. Okay. So Pantabhat also we have discussed earlier. So Pantabhat is basically fermented rice. So what you need to do is all of us eat, you know, dal chawal at home, right? So be it lunch or dinner, whenever you are eating dal chawal. So the cooked rice is made. All you, all you need to do is take two spoon of cooked rice soak it in half glass or one glass of water right so two spoon cooked rice soak it in half glass or one glass of water let it be overnight so morning whenever you get up okay in case you are if you are wanting to have jeera water so before jeera water morning whenever you get up all you need to do is drink that half glass of water and also you need to have that two spoon of cooked rice which is overnight soaked. So this is known as Pantabhat. It is an excellent probiotic. It is a natural probiotic which is very very good for your gut. Okay, for your gut health, for bloating, gastric issue. It is a wonder food, right? So all you need to do is just take two spoon, two spoon of cooked rice overnight soaked morning you just have that half glass of water and have those two spoon of cooked rice it is excellent for gut health and overall you know immunity and health right so that is second thing that you can do number three having elaichi after lunch and dinner having one elaichi after lunch and one elaichi after dinner can solve your bloating issues okay right I, i'm sure we need to do a lot of good things like jeera water not having milk products so the fourth thing is avoiding milk products we have seen in last many years that milk product is highly acidic okay when people have milk tea or milk or chena or milk derivatives are highly acidic and when you consume that dairy you know your system becomes acidic and you get issues like bloating burping gastric acidity issues so when you remove milk products from your day-to-day -day routine, you add jeera water, pantabhat, fruits and all that. You're eating clean, you're eating better, you're eating a lot of fiber. Your bowel movement will start becoming better. And then in case you have any bloating issues, one thing that you can add is one elaichi after lunch, one elaichi after dinner. Having one elaichi after lunch and dinner can help you a lot in your bloating issues, right? We have seen n number of people benefiting from elaichi after meals. Elaichi also helps a lot in digestion. So it can also help your indigestion issues. And apart from that, it aids. So it helps your digestive enzymes to digest food. So it really helps in digestion. Apart from that, it, it is super food in terms of your for bloating issues, right? So there you go. So number one is jeera water. Number two is pantabhat. Number three is um, having, uh, you know, elaichi after meals. Number four is avoiding milk products which are highly acidic, okay. Number five, there is something known as apple cider vinegar. Now, Pantabhat is a probiotic which helps a lot in gut. Similarly, apple cider vinegar is a prebiotic. Now, what you need to do is, all you need is one teaspoon, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Just dilute it in one glass of water. All you need to drink is that one glass of water 30 to 40 minutes before your lunch and 30 to 40 minutes before your dinner, right? So just twice a day, 30 to 40 minutes before lunch and 30 to 40 minutes before your dinner, if you all you need to take is one teaspoon apple cider vinegar diluted in one glass of water. It acts as a prebiotic. It is excellent for losing that extra weight, for inch loss, excellent for gut health, indigestion, gastric issues, and it is also very good for the skin. So these five things, and I invent one more, you know, for constipation, you need a lot of fiber. You know, people eat a lot of uh, uh, isabgul for their constipation issues, not realizing that isabgul is only fiber. I mean, there's nothing wrong in isabgul, but I don't want you to be dependent on isabgul. You know, rather you naturally should be able to, you know, pass your motions and, and you should not be constipated. So empty stomach fruit is excellent way of intaking of fiber and helping your bowel movement, right? So people who wants to take all those three things, jeera water, pantabhat and empty stomach fruit. So the proper, uh, proper, uh, the sequence of taking this would be number one is your pantabhat followed with your jeera water followed with your uh, uh, empty stomach fruits. So minimum 10-15 minutes gap is okay between jeera water and fruits and pantabhat and jeera water you need 30 minutes gap, right? So these 
you know six things if you can start adopting number one is your pantabhat number two is jeera water you can add half spoon of ajwain if you have a lot of gastric acidity issues number three is your adding a lot of empty stomach fruits number four is avoiding milk product number five is apple cider vinegar and so when you do all of these things and number six is elaichi after lunch and dinner when you do all these six things you are you are doing a lot of things to help your gut resolve those gastric acidity bloating issues constipation issues and you will see within weeks one to two weeks and your gut will start becoming better you know your motions will start becoming better you will not have acidity you will not have acid reflux you will not have bloating issues within two weeks when we can solve this why are people carrying on with these issues for years i think it is the right time that you know we educate and empower people that we should not live with these issues because all they are going to do is invite more disease in our system right so share this with as many as you can and let people know that these simple issues can be fixed within weeks one week two weeks three weeks and we can fix this all you need to do is become empowered you know have the right knowledge stay empowered and make right choices after all it is habits that reverse disease and not diets thank you so much everyone for uh, listening to this and i'm sure more and more people will be benefited out of this let me take couple of uh, questions before we uh, sign off number 1 is having rice okay at night uh, yes uh, you know having rice is perfectly okay at night as we had discussed uh, all we need to do is look at what we are doing in the entire day right there's no one ingredient which will cause or do any good but what we are doing in totality so if you are having lot of fiber lot of seasonal fruits your chia seeds and flax seeds and then if you want to add rice to your meals it is absolutely okay ensure that you also have green vegetables with your rice uh, which works wonders okay and i'll take one more uh, why uh, is okay someone is asking that why is it uh, that uh, can we add methi dana in jeera water yes methi dana is excellently recommended to people who have body pains okay so in your jeera you can add one spoon methi dana also which is very good for your overall health in particularly if you have body pain it works wonders right thank you so much everyone uh, have a great day ahead and just remember that all we need to do is become knowledgeable and the right information the more information that we have the ability to reverse disease becomes more simple thank you so much have a good day god bless